Hey everybody, it's Paul Ramsey, and I'm joined by Tommy V, who is doing a two-hour workshop on uh, August 12th at 9 a.m. at the 2017 NGH convention. And according to my listing, he's going to be partnering with Jerry Valley, and they're going to be co-presenting together. The title is Dynamic Stop Smoking Seminars, How to Book, Present Them, and Make Great Earnings. Learn how to find the companies like AT&T, who paid us $11,700 for three group sessions. I like the sound of that. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you, Paul? Good. Yeah, it's a great topic. Uh, we, sh we share this information every year with people, how to, if people that want to get out and do group stop smoking programs. Or, or, or you could do it for weight control. Right. And, and uh, we did it with AT&T that year. And uh, there were three sessions of, I think, 100 people each, which was rather large. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of companies out there. And, stop sm and smoking is, uh, doesn't exist as much in the workforce right. anymore. You know, there's certainly, like you said, though, there's certainly other ways. There's other wellness areas in which you could take the model and reuse it, right? Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. I, I love your learning objectives here. I mean, first thing that you list is what I would think of naturally is learn how to crack the corporate wall for a booking like this. That's what most people are nervous about, right? Is, but how do I even get that work? So you're going to talk to them about that. Learn our techniques that win over any committee. Learn our suggestions that give you up to a 92% success rate and learn to use testing to impress your attendees. These are good learning objectives. I like them. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's very good. Um, you know, the easy, part, the easy part is doing the program. Right. The, the hard part of the work is getting uh, the appointment in to, to see these people and then booking it. That's where the work is. Uh, going there and, and helping people stop smoking is, is the easy part. So uh, we show you how to pound the pavement and offer something that's different to these corporate people and, you know, uh, because they hear from the American Cancer Society uh, and other groups that offer stop smoking also, but we offer something different. This is behavioral modification with hypnosis, right. or if you don't want to call it hypnosis, don't call it that. So that, you know, getting in the door is, is the tough part. And then we show you how to wow them, kind of like doing a lecture demo. Yeah. We show you how to wow these people, you know, do the hand circle experiment or the OVS and, uh, and we try again with my favorite word to impress them. Talk about a little bit more, if you will, Tommy, what's the difference in convincing a corporate committee to give you their, their money, you know, to sign up with you versus when you're going with a one-on-one -on -one client and you just got to talk to that one person about helping them create the change they want in their life. I think it's uh, uh, really different because the person that's coming in one-on-one -on -one they want to make a change. Right. Generally, they want to do it. It's for them. Uh, the corporate thing, uh, you may have to win over uh, two, three, four, or more people. And there's probably always a doubting Thomas in the group. Someone right. there that's the watchdog for the company. And I understand that. And somebody who's watching the money and, and show, they're, they're like, show me. And you have a short period of time, too. These people are very busy. Yeah. So you got to get in there and, and wow them and bang them. Here's, here's what we do. Bang, 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 and uh, hopefully we can do something. I'd be glad to work with your people. Mindset's different, right? If I have a one-on-one -on -one person, I can sit. I can really let them tell me their life story. I can listen to their challenges. Corporate folks, very results-oriented. I got a lot to do. I don't have time to tell you my life story, right? How are you going to help me get a result and then get out of my way, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. There's a small amount of time. Yeah. Small amount of time. So, yeah. you know, you have to get past the secretary uh, you know, you have to go to like to perhaps the human resources department and they said, yeah, yeah, we've heard about these stop smoking programs. Yeah. Well, this is different. Yeah. And, and, and then, uh, you know, send them some information and, and you need to get an appointment, get the appointment. Yeah. Once you get the appointment, then again, it's pretty much downhill from there right. because we show you how to impress them with a few things. And, uh, would you like to do it? You get the appointment, you book the date, the rest is easy. Yeah. What do you what do you like about doing groups? Is there anything that you, you really like about it compared to working one-on-one -on -one with people? Um, no. <laughs> no, because it seems like, like it would be harder work for you. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, you know, so you're, you're, you're stepping up and saying, I'm willing to work harder for this because there's a good return, right? But I mean, yeah. that's got to be a challenge. Yeah, Especially like if you've got 100 people, that's, 
Yeah. If we, you know, we don't do it that large anymore. That was a little bit too large. Yeah. Just because of a hundred people in a room in itself makes a little bit of noise. You know, it's not ideal like one on one. Yeah. Those people coughing and sneezing and yeah, all that stuff. So we would work with smaller groups. Uh, You have to be able to like to be in front of people too. You might you might be the person that just likes to be one on one. Well, I don't want to I don't want to do groups. Right. Um, I don't want to be on stage. So you know you have to like that too, and you know you can earn more as you mentioned. Right. uh, With these group things as opposed to one on one. So this brings up, you guys, another key thing about, <clears throat> excuse me, about what's great about going to the convention is, you, you know, you go to something like this and, and you sit and you listen to Jerry and Tommy talk about their decades of experience doing these kinds of events. You know, that's what you, that's part of what you're paying for when you come to the convention is not just the pure content, the, you know, theoretical application of hypnosis, but also so we've done it and, and we've decided at this point, we don't want to do those hundred person ones anymore. We find there's a better way. And then that steepens your learning curve, right? You're not taking so long to learn. You're learning from them saying, we tried it. Here's what we found. Maybe you don't want to do that. That's pretty great. I like here's it. what works. And yeah. here's what doesn't work. We kind of take the bumps out of the road. <laughs> right. You know, really, that's what you're yeah. paying for. Yeah, uh, we, totally. This is something that's been tested and, and, and used out there in the field. Um, and then they can take that and make ad- adaptations if they want or go and run with it. Yeah. You know, the groups are fun and there's, there's thousands and thousands and thousands of companies out there, you know, find the bigger ones that have a, a good group of, uh, employees, a num- good number of employees and, and get to the human resources department and they don't want smokers on board anymore. Right. You know, a lot of people, you can't even go out in your car and smoke. They don't want smokers. They don't allow smoking on the property. Right. So employees are looking to quit smoking too. They have to go eight hours without smoking. Yeah. Uh, it, it cuts the, it increases uh, productivity when people don't smoke. You know, there's a million reasons to, yeah. for them to get rid of it. Um, yeah. So that's what we do. Um, It'll be on Saturday. It's for two hours. We will also review what we do for the hypnosis, what has worked for us uh, group-wise and one-on-one in the office, our Stop Smoking program okay. we share with you. Cool. Yeah. Right? So, so they're going to get that, the business side of things and the hypnotism practical side of things. Um, and I noticed here it even says, you even talk about how to effectively structure your advertising and introductory letter. So you're getting all that stuff. You're getting the marketing, the business structure, the modeling, the hypnotism modeling and, and procedural stuff. There's a lot going on here, which again, for two hours, that makes sense. You've got two hours of stuff going on. A lot of times if there's a smoker in, in the attendance in that program, we actually do a session right there. Right there. So they'll see what we do live. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's all cool. cool. Can't wait. Yeah. August. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that's pretty much it. This one's really straightforward. You know, this is one of the key areas, your big three, right? For most uh, hypnotism practices are smoking cessation, weight loss, and stress management. And so this is one of those ones that, especially if you're new to hypnotism, um, you know, this is one of your things you want to establish. If you're not so new to hypnotism, sometimes you find that you have an area that you just really struggle with and that you don't like to do and you sort of avoid it. And maybe this is your way to stop avoiding this big three area and get in and get a new perspective and get a new approach that helps you solidify this aspect of your practice. So uh, August 12th, 9 a.m., two-hour workshop with Tommy and Jerry, uh, Dynamic Stop Smoking Seminars. Tommy, thanks so much for your time. Okay, Paul, thank you. All right, we'll see you in August. See you soon.